At the Florida Ruminant Nutrition Conference hosted by the University of Florida, Balchem hosted another of its many symposia ahead of the event. One of the speakers, Dr. Christiane Gerard with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada, one of the speakers. Dr. Gerard, if you had to summarize your talk at this symposium, what would you say in 60 seconds or less you told the attendees? In fact, I try to convince them that they should look more uh, at B vitamins requirement for the dairy cows. And I talk about the role of B, uh, folic acid and vitamin B12 as a provider of uh, one carbon uh, unit. And then I move on the role of these vitamins, more metabolic role on energy and protein metabolism. Let's dig into that a little bit. Why are the B vitamins, folic acid in particular, so important to the successful production of, of milk products in these dairy cows? I think for decades we just overlooked the B vitamin requirement. We just assumed that the microflora, ruminal microflora, would produce enough to cover the cow needs. And but the microflora, they are producing B vitamin for their own need, not for the cows. And the high producing dairy cows, they probably need more. And they need B vitamin are acting like oil in a gear because they are coenzyme. And if the metabolic, uh, the metabolism is running faster, then you need more coenzyme. And so folic acid and vitamin B12 are working closely together and they are involved in protein and energy metabolism. So, and they are controlling the efficiency of those metabolism in many ways. You walk into the average dairy herd and, and start to looking at the rations or start um, looking at individual cows. How far are we missing the mark on what we should be doing in the B vitamins and, and folic acid? There are still a lot of works to do to understand which factors control the synthesis of B vitamin by the, by the runal macroflora. And, but right now we have some indication, uh, mostly looking at plasma concentration of those vitamins, just to sh give us some uh, information to find whose cow need more and whose cow are sufficient, at a sufficient supply. But there are still a lot of works to do. We are far from the answer because the rumen is like a black box and we just start to understand which dietary factors will control the, the synthesis of B vitamin and I suspect that the kind of bacteria present in the rumen are also greatly involved in this, in this synthesis. So, If you were talking to a nutritionist um, practicing out in the field, so to speak, and you wanted them to take away one key point or, or one action item from your talk at this symposium, what, what would it be? For the nutritionist, I think that it's difficult to tell them which cow will need B vitamin at the present time, except if they are doing blood analysis. but. We know that they need really to be careful for folic acid and vitamin B12 to just find a way to provide enough fiber and enough non-fiber carbohydrate just to, bal to balance them. Because if you have too much of fiber, you will reduce the folate supply and too much non-fiber carbohydrate, you will reduce vitamin B12 supply. But we are still at the beginning of the, of the work. There are still many years to go. And we'll continue the search and continue the journey. Thank you, Dr. Gerard. Christiane Gerard with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada, one of the speakers at Balcom's mini symposium at the Florida Nutrition Conference. For Feedstuffs, I'm Andy Vance.